Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Gemini, this is your weekly June 14th through June 20th tarot reading. Um, happy birthday if you're celebrating this week. I wish you um, happiness and abundance. Hopefully it will be better for you um, than the previous year. Uh, let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords and the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. We have two fours here on the table, so perhaps this could be of some kind of a significance for some of you. Um, you have a new job or a new business opportunity offer knocking on your door this week, Gemini. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is the offer itself. And this is a very serious and very grounded offer. We also have the Wheel of Fortune on the left. Uh, this is all about starting a new cycle. So when you do start this new job or this new uh, business adventure, it will launch a new cycle of your life. Um, however, you are taking a little time to think about it. That's what I think the Four of Swords here represents. Perhaps you're playing hard to get and uh, you could be trying to get more money out of the situation, out of this new employer or the new business partner. But I think it will, it will uh, work out for you. Because we've got the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a really um, stable and happy partnership. This is a worker and business spread. Um, that's what this card most likely represents in this uh, particular case. The four of wands could also represent the new team where everything is very cohesive and very happy and everybody just plays along and um, um, basically everybody is just happy to receive you as the new um, team member or a new business partner. So uh, this looks really good. Uh, you are starting something new and this is most likely something long term because the Knight of Pentacles is a very uh, grounded and serious offer. Gemini, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Sun, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You are burdened by something here, Gemini. Uh, that's what the Ten of Wands here represents. Um, and I think everything is, is revolving around that. However, I don't see anything uh, bad or critical I don't see any rejections, I don't see any endings. What I think is happening here is that you simply have a lot on your plate. And uh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. I think this is a repeat card from the previous spread. So um, your family or your relationship is directly affected by that offer. So that's probably why you're taking a little while to think about it. because. If you're starting something new, it will have a significant impact on your relationship or your partnership or even your marriage, but in a good way, in a very good way. So um, perhaps you, <laughs> you think that you will not be able to see your significant other as much. We do have the Two of Pentacles here as well. This is a card of you juggling things around. So if you are starting something new, that... Uh, in terms of your work or your business, you'll have to juggle your uh, family and your work lives for a little while and that's what um, you are sort of afraid of but um, you know nothing can stop a Gemini if a Gemini decides to go for something, right? <laughs> we have the Sun card here as well. This is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever it is that's uh, burdening you right now um, it'll still be uh, superseded by the Sun card. It usually supersedes everything else that comes through. And there isn't really much to supersede, to be honest with you, because you are going to be really happy, 
that this is um, happening in your life. I think you'll only you and your partner, your significant other, will only benefit from it in the long run. Gemini, if you're on a quest for new love this week, this spread is for you. We've got the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Nine of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. I think somebody wants to um, offer you to take a leap of faith here. And they've got a very passionate offer for you, a passionate new beginning. That's what the Ace of Wands together with the Fool represent. Um, you could be dealing with uh, Pisces, that's what the uh, moon card here um, could be telling us. Or this is you not being sure whether you want this with this person or not. And uh, the nine of ones clarified by the high priestess are kind of telling the same story. You are putting up a wall between you and your person or you're just very defensive. Perhaps... Uh, you recently had some kind of a breakup or something is just not right about this person. Your intuition is telling you that um, something is off about them. Um, I don't see any rejection cards, so perhaps this week you'll just uh, sort of go on a date with this person and see what they're really about, if their words match their action, but this person really wants to uh, get the show on the road with you. Like I said, the Ace of Wands is the uh, passionate new beginning, but uh, I think you're holding back, at least for this week. And I think you're doing the right thing. Uh, it's never <clears throat> a good thing to jump head first. So yeah, take your time, do some research, go on a date, see what they're all about, and then you can make a decision maybe the following week. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. We've got the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm getting a very strange, but at the same funny vibe out of this read. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini, somebody is trying to get back into your good graces. Um, the Knight of Swords here is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, trying to uh, re-establish this relationship with you, or this is the energy of that person rushing back in, trying to sweep you off your feet. But you are too wise to uh, let them do it to you again, right? And um, that's you in the Nine of Cups. Um, sitting, looking at this person, and by the way, we have the five of wands here as well. This is a card of a conflict, but I think in this case, this is a card of a competition. So what I'm thinking is you have more than one um, suitor uh, competing for your full and undivided attention. Then again, that's you in the nine of cups, just sitting there, eating your popcorn, and enjoying the show. <laughs> Um, and celebrating your birthday at the same time, right? Um, so yeah, uh, the three of uh, wands here on the bottom of the deck, this is you uh, trying to make a decision or perhaps you've already made a decision about uh, one of the suitors or about that particular suitor but you're not telling them, you're still enjoying the show, you're watching them competing for you. Well, don't take too long, Gemini, because uh, uh, people can get impatient. Um, so, like I said, um, it'll be uh, up to you whether you want to get back with this person or not, or whether you want to choose out of multiple options, and one of whom can be your ex, or all of them can be your exes, right? Because uh, Venus retrograde is uh, never easy. We also have the Mercury retrograde starting pretty soon, and Mercury is your ruling planet, so um, expect a lot of excess coming back into your life, and I think the spread is uh, the Exhibit A, <laughs> that excess are uh, pouring back into your life, uh, rushing back in, but uh, I think you're being very wise, like I said, and you're just not going to jump in right away. So enjoy the ride. Um, like I said, don't take too long because people can get um, upset. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Gemini, this week. We've got the Hierophant, uh, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, 
and the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air sign, another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I think this is related to your work or your business or your finances. It kind of reminds me of the uh, work spread, business spread I did for you in the beginning of this reading. Um, we do have an offer, a very serious and grounded offer coming towards you. It could be coming from a Taurus, because the Hierophant is the personal Taurus card. Or the Hierophant here represents something traditional. Uh, like uh, signing a contract or starting a new job or basically um, an offer to start a new job. Um, we have the Knight of Swords here as well. This is that offer coming towards you and you're surprised by it so you will need some time to think about it. Right? Or perhaps as I was mentioning earlier in the reading during that spread you will probably play hard to get and tell them to go back and uh, you know do their magic with the numbers so they they look more attractive to you you know something among those lines basically the surprise is you have some kind of an offer rushing in coming in but this is a very serious and grounded offer and you'll need some time to think about it and this will surprise you this week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.